worried about the parasites spreading from the fish and disease and, and the feces. And it just never occurred to me that the volume of wild feed for wild salmon coming in. My God, it's shocking. As I knew fully well, they're pit lamping our baby fish in there. I inspected the farms last August, September. That's what you got. The same as what you got there. Tons of baby wild stock pit. They're not licensed for that, you know what I mean? And right there, you can see the big ones trying to chase them down and catch them. But it's too clear in there. Comes dark. There's gonna comes dark. It's gonna be thick on the surface, and then those big fish are just gonna feed away on them. You know what I mean? Uh, we've sent those testing tests away, and they've come back positive for Pisces virus. These guys have been allowed to regulate themselves, sort of like the fox in the hen house kind of thing, and they they haven't been very honest with the, the, not the federal government, and certainly not the general public, and that uh, this uh, disease is, is running, running rampant now in our ooligans and our herring and our wild salmon. But anyways, the baby, baby pinks and the baby uh, chums started coming by home a month back, so that's why I really wanted to be here to catch these baby fish in a pen, and Lord behold. Wild salmon are so essential to the health of this entire coast, and in fact, the whole province. And this is so essential that we understand the need for the protection. And it's very disheartening to come home um, to see these uh, fish farms, the way they're set up, it's like a gauntlet that our wild salmon are going to be going through. And um, every time I go out in the water, my heart breaks. Go and talk to a real Indian, and uh, you'll be surprised how open we really are. Don't buy farm salmon. On June 20th of this year, the province will decide whether the licenses get renewed or not. It is not really up to the province to decide. It is First Nations title. It is First Nations territory. And that is the crucial distinction that needs to be clarified on the front lines. Our whole planet is under attack. And everywhere people need to stand up for what is good and what is sacred. If there is an event that is for the wild salmon near you, go to it. If there isn't one, create one. Join the Salmon Nation. Join all the people on the front lines that are doing things to help Mother Earth. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing.